Hello and welcome to another exciting how-to video. Now, if you are trying to learn computer networking, but struggling to get some hands-on practice, trust me, you are not alone, my friend. I remember 10 years ago when I was preparing for my Cisco CCNA and my CompTIA Network Plus, I ran into the same issue. Well, I had people sh kind of uh, recommending that I go to eBay and then buy those used routers and used um, firewalls and used switches and used you know, access point, which I did. I started buying some of it. I re really didn't went all in. And part of the reason is because when you're studying, you know, you're preparing for a certification, you really don't have a lot of money to, to spend. So welcome to this video. This is a how-to video, and I will show you the tool that I used 10 years ago to help me get the practical skills, get the hands-on experience. Now go ahead and get to google.com. And uh, once you're here, go ahead and search for Cisco, uh, NetCAD, they call this NetCAD, but it's Network Academy. Uh, Network Academy Resource Hub. Now it used to be really hard for you to find the download link, but over the years what Cisco did was that uh, they put the download link into their resource hub uh, section. So once you get to the website, scroll down, then you will see where it says uh, learning resources. And then you see the Cisco packet tracer here. But the only thing they ask is for you to set up a login account. So you basically set up like a NetCat account. They also have uh, some pretty good courses here that are free. So this is a pretty good resource for you to utilize. So let's go ahead and set up the account first, and then we will download the Windows 64 bit. So in the right-hand side, you see where it says login, you click on that. And if you don't have an account already, go ahead and sign up, okay? Then you can, you can also sign up with Google, but uh, go ahead and type in your information to create the to create an, an account. Once you're done, just come right here and sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Now, once you're signed in uh, and you're able to see like your name here somewhere, Go ahead and scroll down in the resource uh, hub again until you can see the learning resources or the packet tracer. Now click on the window version. Again, if you're on a Mac, go ahead and grab that Mac version. When I click on the window, it's gonna go ahead and download this executable into my download folder. And as soon as that's finished, I'll double click on it and it looks like it's done. So I'm gonna click on it to open it in my folder right there and it open on a different Windows. So let me go ahead and bring the Windows so they can get to see this. There we go. Here we are, and this is the executable here. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this. And there's a pop-up with the UAC that says, hey, you sure wanna do that? I'm gonna click on yes. Go ahead and minimize that. And now this is Packet Tracer right here. All right. I don't know if, if you can see it, but right there. So they're asking us to agree to the terms. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on accept. Then I click next and then I click next again. Then I click next. Basically, you, you're creating, you know, the directory where you're saving this thing. And they're asking you, do you want us to create a desktop shortcut or create a shortcut to the launch here somewhere? I'm going to say, yep. Select both of those. Click next. And then I click on install. Well, Packet Tracer is probably the easiest thing to install. This is pretty much it. After this, all you have to do is sign in. Once you finish to sign in, you are good to go. Okay, so let's give it a minute for Packet Tracer to install. And after waiting for a little bit, here we are, right? It's finished. I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. And there's a pop-up here that's asking us, would you like to run multi-user when... Uh, application starts. I don't mind. I'm going to click on yes. And there we go. Now, this is Packet Tracer. Now, for you to be able to use it, like I mentioned earlier, you need to have an account. So the account that we created is uh, the Network Academy account, but which also works for Skills for All. So go ahead and click on Skills for All. Okay. And then it's going to take you to your um, 
browser and try to sign in or try to force you to sign in. But if you are already signed in, which you are, since you just finished downloading this, it will, Packet Tracer, it will detect that you're already signed in and it won't pop up anything. So just bring back you here to where you are right now. So a few things. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you can get to see some, some of the things here. I'm going to click on the options, then click on the preferences. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to click on fonts. Then this is on an 8. Let's push that to 10. There we go. 10 is good. I'm going to click on apply. There we go. That makes this a little bit bigger. Now, here's the power of Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer comes with all the hardware, physical hardware, right? This is a simulation, guys, right? But it comes with all the hardware. When you click on the uh, networking de devices, you can see all the networking de devices here, including routers. And this is self selected. That's why you get to see all the versions of routers here. And you can see all of them there. You can also click on the switch here, switches. As soon as you click on that, you start seeing all the switches that are available, including um, uh, smart switches and all that kind of stuff. You can also click on hubs. Hubs are the older version of switches. You can also click on wireless devices like Wi-Fi. You can also firewall for the security here. You also have your cloud. Anyway, so this is all under the network devices. If you want a computer, you click on the next one, end devices. This, you get computers. We're talking about laptops, uh, desktops, servers, and all kinds of stuff. You also have house appliances and things. You also have a few other things that basically, unless you are trying to be as complex as you can be with the packet tracer, you don't really need all of these. Another thing that I want to show you here is the uh, the connections, uh, the connector here. In the connector, you get to see all the wires that you can connect it to your de devices with. When you're studying for things like A plus and um, yeah, even in the network plus, they you know tell you things like a console cable or copper, a straight through cable, crossover cable, all kinds of stuff. Those things are here. Even I think even fiber optic cables are here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Yeah, fiber. It's here. So what I want to do is just like set up like a simple network since we have this up and running. So I'm going to click on back on the devices here. And maybe you've heard about people saying, hey, you should set up like a local area network. Well, how do you do that? Well, let me go ahead and click on end devices. And then let's just put a, a computer here. Let's say that I have a computer that I use. And let's say that um, I also have a laptop. OK, so. What I can do, I can add a switch to these things. All right, let me go ahead and grab a switch by clicking on the switches there. And then right here, m m most of the time, people just use this PT switch, but you can also use these uh, 2960. This is a very classic Cisco switch. And let me just grab that. Uh, and the way you do it, you click on it, then you come right here somewhere, you see the plus, and then you click it there somewhere, and then that thing will appear. Okay, now I have a switch. This guy right here, I have a laptop and I have a PC. I can connect between these and have them start talking to each other. And the way I do that is by going to the connections, connector, and then I can click this um, uh, this icon here, the, the flash looking icon to automatically let the computer detect which cable they're going to use between all of these. Or I can specifically specify which cable. For example, if I'm connecting like two switches that are this, these are like the same devices, I can pick the device, the cable that's better for that. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and click on laptop. Then the cable is going to be attached. Then click on the switch. There we go. And I can do the same thing for this PC here. I'm going to click on it and then I click on the switch one more time. And now, both of these computers are connected to this switch. I can also change names. So if, if I double click on that, I can change this to Francois PC, for example, right? And then I can change this laptop to a CyberPros laptop. 
I just say cyber pros. There we go. Now we have these two devices. I can also write on here. So if I click on this right here, the that icon, I can come right here and just call this a local area network, all right? LAN, because th that's what this is. Click back there, and here we are, local area network. Now, the beauty of having a local area network means you only have computers and you don't have a router. You just connected that to a switch. But what if you want to go outside of your network? Then you need your router. I can go back to end devices and then just grab one of these routers here. I can grab the router PT. That will do just fine. All right. And then I can go back to this right here and connect that to the router. Okay, now this is where it start getting juicy because now you need to configure uh, these devices. In fact, let me show you that. For example, let's say that I want to assign an IP address to this PC here, this laptop. I just click on it, and it's going to take me to the configuration page of it. Click on Config, and once I'm here, I can see a few things. I can see the name. I can see the interface, in this case, Fast Ethernet 0. And here I can configure a static um a default gateway, meaning the router's IP addresses. Once we have the router uh, IP configured here on this interface, I can put that there. But I can also click on the fast Ethernet. This is the uh, the interface. This is the LAN, not the LAN, the uh, NIC card, literally. So right here, I can then give it an IP address. For example, I can call this 192.168.1.10, for example. Then I can assign that the subnet mask. Look, as you can see, as you go in and play around with Packet Tracer, you are learning networking. You are learning networking. And in the upcoming videos, I will show you how to go in and configure like a network so that you can basically practice what you are learning.